Stories coming up, but we begin with a sales pitch leaving potential customers calling the state with complaints. It all has to do with trying to get people to change gas companies. But it's what he can't provide and who he says he's working for that's causing consumers energy to put out a warning tonight. Let's get to Jermont Terry. So Jermont, what's behind this? Well, Jason and Kimberly, salespeople are known to come knocking door to door, but in this case, an alternate heating, I should say gas supplier, is essentially raising questions in their practice because they're trying to figure out whether these employees are crossing the line. And, you know, they're trying to get people to switch to a new provider. That is fine. But in the process, they are misrepresenting themselves. Yeah, I just went ahead and called the number. Kevin Boucher spent a lot of time this week making calls, especially after this guy knocked on his front door. Okay, I'm the Captain Director of Chief. I'm not here to tell you anything. This is an ongoing investigation here in your neighborhood. Are you guys aware of that? The employee works for Direct Energy, an alternate gas provider licensed in Michigan. He had no permits from the city of Livonia. I don't have my permit on me, honestly. The goal was to try to get Kevin to change from his current gas supplier to Direct Energy. But the more questions Kevin asked, the more aggressive and, well, questionable the Direct Energy's employees' sales tactics became, including who he worked for. So this is Consumer's Energy that sent me out here. He didn't have any ID from Consumer. Can I call Consumer? Yes, you can call consumers, but they're going to give you a runaround with this. This is essentially why I'm out here. To Yet, it turns out Consumers Energy did not send this guy or any workers to homes to change gas suppliers. I can say in various areas of the state, we've had several complaints. Um, you know, it seems like some of these alternate gas suppliers go from uh, city to city when they're soliciting. The BBB ranks direct energy with a no rating with more than 600 complaints dating back to 2015. Kevin filed a complaint with the Michigan Public Service Commission who regulates the company and that's when he learned. I wasn't the first person. I wasn't the first person to call consumers either. And Direct Energy got back to us about 20 minutes ago. In their statement, it reads in part that we take any concerns raised about our sales practices very seriously. And they go on to add, our representatives are required to clearly identify themselves as being Direct Energy employees only and not a local utility company. But in this case, that clearly did not happen. Reporting in Detroit, I'm Dramat Terry, Local 4.